room 2110 I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you Oh, I wanted an explanation Red solo cups all over the floor And your friends passed out Sleeping in that bed so hello, good morning, welcome back. Today is a Saturday morning. I don't know why I'm calling it morning anymore. It's really not morning, it's 1 p.m. right now. But you know, it's summer and some days I wake up at like 6 a.m. and some days I stay in bed till 1 p.m. I've been awake for a while, but I've just been chilling, you know? Also, I wanna explain something real quick. In this video, I'm gonna be recording audio with my phone because I do have a microphone, but the thing that I use to import footage from my microphone to my computer, it broke and I don't have money to get a new one right now. So we're gonna be be recording with my phone and recording with my phone is much better because for example if i was recording audio with my camera this is how you would hear me right now versus if i'm recording with my phone this is how you hear me right now so i'm gonna stick with my phone <laughs> for the last couple of days i've kind of been in a slump my room is really messy as you'll see in a minute i haven't cooked a good meal in a while also i want to mention that this video is sponsored by expressvpn but i'm gonna talk about them later in the video if only you could see my room right now i honestly don't want to show it <laughs> this is my room right now this is literally embarrassing i do not want to show and my mirror is super dusty and like my bookshelf is super dusty just like everything i need to clean everything also i want to move my room around but i honestly don't think it'll end up well because my room is like really quite small i'm just gonna ignore my room for like 30 minutes i'm gonna go downstairs have breakfast and just make a little plan for the weekend i guess and then we're gonna start our day even though it's like half 1 p.m So it's literally like midday on a Saturday, but the first thing I want to do today is actually just like clean my room fully and properly. And this literally might take a whole day, but I'm going to multitask, which is probably not a good thing, but I'm going to go through my watch later playlist while I'm cleaning just because it almost has 500 videos. We have to go through that. Conclusion, I went with this layout because the other one was just not doing it for me. Also, ignore the super ugly bedding. It's it's super, super ugly and yellow and white, but um, it'll be changed in a week, so I don't really care. Plus, this bedding is kind of from my childhood, so it just like nice memories, you know? This layout actually gives a lot less room for me to like walk, and if I ever want to do yoga, I can't really do it here. Like, I have to do it downstairs, but I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling this right now. Like, if I don't like it, I'll just change it next week. But yeah, I finally moved the table away from the window where it was before. And now it's going to be facing the wall again. And I don't know what I want to do about all the books. Like, I might move them there. Also, I was like, oh, this is only going to take like an hour to do. Like, it's fine. I'll just organize my whole bedroom today. But it's already half 5 p.m. And this is all I've done. So the organization is going to be, we're just going to do it another day. But for now, I'm going to go have dinner because I have only had that like one piece of bread with spinach in the morning and then since then i literally just haven't had anything so i'm very hungry right now in your head you gonna slip, 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 slip. i love on you and then i leave you alone you want to get to know me 
So I've just talked to the camera for like 10 minutes and realized it wasn't even in focus, which is so nice. But after staring at the wall for about three minutes straight, I think I've decided what I want to do. I want to have like a self-care evening. The reason I'm doing air quotes is because some people will just do some skincare and that's like, that's it. That's self-care. But self-care is a lot more than that. But, you know, I want to have one of those typical self-care evenings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shower and I'm going to deep condition my hair because, you know, it may look like it's really damaged after bleaching it twice, dyeing it purple, and then dyeing it brown. Also, somewhere in the middle, I used detergent to get the color out of my hair. Would not recommend. I think I just wasted detergent and ruined my hair, but it actually feels a lot better than it looks. The only thing is that before, when I washed my hair, my hair would dry straight and non-frizzy. Now, when I wash my hair, it dries straight and frizzy. So it didn't used to be, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I'm not kidding. A cat just popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared the life out of me. Where's it gone? Anyway, my hair is not that damaged and deep conditioning will probably not do anything, but it feels good in the moment. And then I'm gonna steam my face. Definitely not the right way to say it. We have this like steamer for your face, which I don't even know if it's good. I think while I'm steaming my face, I'm gonna do some skincare research because I am so bad with skincare. Like I'm so uneducated. Oh my god, there's the cat. Wait, let me show you the cat that popped up. Look, see, right now he's going really slowly and actually really creepily up this roof but oh he's so cute but when i saw him he just popped up out of nowhere in the corner i look a bit insane now the hair is being conditioned i have to just chill like this for 20 minutes in the meanwhile i think my mom made churros so Girl, you deserve every pose. Sometimes yeah, I do the most. I want everybody. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my face with a face wash and then steam it. And then I don't know what to do after that. The thing is, I have one of these like extractor tools, but the thing is, it's really not recommended to use one unless you're a professional, which I am not. So I don't really want to use this because apparently this can cause scarring. And then what I have is also these jade rollers and a gua sha. So, good morning. It's a lot earlier today than it was yesterday. It's about 10.45 right now. It's very sunny outside, so it's making me be in a good mood. Also, the fact that I just moved my desk, like I feel like I'm in a new location. Like, I know I just moved my desk, but I swear to God it does something. But today, I want to work on some of my summer goals. And also, I just want to like study some Spanish because I don't want Spanish to be something I just did in school. Like, I want to be learning Spanish for the rest of my life. I'm conversational right now, and if a Spanish person came up to me, I'd definitely probably be able to speak to them, but with a lot of problems, like with a lot of mistakes because I'm just not used to speaking. I don't really have a plan. I will make kind of a guideline of things I could do today, but I don't need to have a plan because I'm just in a very chill mood. I'm, I'm not like I have to follow this plan like minute by minute. Like I'm kind of just like chilling. Ooh, oh my God. That just one more pick. I think I have found a new favorite breakfast and it's that like spinach tomato pesto thing. I've never made it before. Like yesterday was the first day I made it because I saw we had a lot of spinach and I was just like, let me try it. And it was amazing. And I had it again today. And <laughs> I think I found a new favorite breakfast. I've been sitting on Netflix for the past 30 minutes trying to find a Spanish show to watch because I do know a bunch of Spanish shows. Like say for example, the basic like Elite and Money Heist and Cable Girls. But I I want to find something new because I really want to like watch a show to practice my Spanish but it has been extremely helpful because I'm on Spanish Netflix and I'm not on the Irish Netflix because the Irish Netflix does have a couple of Spanish shows but it really doesn't have like a rich library to choose from like there's just like a couple not that many whereas I'm on the Spanish Netflix and it's just there's so many more shows actually this is the perfect time to talk about ExpressVPN who are sponsoring this video I love ExpressVPN like Ever since I got it, I use it every-
every single day because like it's just it's so 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 helpful in my day-to-day -day life if you don't know what vpn stands for it means virtual private network so a lot of the time like when you go to a cafe and you're just like using the cafe's wi-fi and you're working away like it's very possible that somebody can just easily hack into your computer because you're connected to the wi-fi because the wi-fi is not protected so expressvpn one of the things they do is they kind of like protect your computer from all these like things that could potentially happen also this is a really random fact but your internet service providers they can legally see everything that you do and even if you go into like incognito mode like private mode that doesn't mean anything they can literally see everything you do and in some countries like if you live in the u.s your internet service provider can legally sell your personal information and basically expressvpn will protect you from that and it will just keep all your data within your computer you know also a very good like day-to-day -day use of expressvpn is you can use netflix from any country youtube from any country for example in my case i want to watch a spanish show and in ireland they do have a couple of spanish shows but it's really not such a big variety whereas if i use expressvpn to connect my computer to a spanish service provider i will be able to get my netflix in spanish and you can basically do this with any website any app any anything as long as you have expressvpn in that device so it protects you from hackers it protects you from the government <laughs> it allows you to unblock a lot of different content in general it's just a very helpful tool to have on your computer also it doesn't only have to be on your computer you can even get an app i have an app on my phone and on my ipad and if i want to watch netflix from spain on my phone like it's so it literally takes 10 seconds to do so if you go on expressvpn.com slash links you can get three months for free which is basically three months of just privacy security content unblocking and a lot of other little benefits so i'm gonna keep trying to find my spanish show i don't know what the hell i'm gonna watch but So I chose a show, it's called Despite Everything or A Pesar de Todo. Oh, I thought this was a show. Bro, this is a movie. I don't know if I prefer a show or a movie. Okay, wait, no, there's another show I found, Valeria. I'm gonna watch Valeria. It's literally already 2 p.m. After I had food, I played a little bit of Sims. Actually, I'm not gonna play Sims right now, but I'm gonna show you my family because I swear to God, every time I make a new video, I have a new family that I'm playing with. Like, let me know if you're like this, but when I play Sims, I don't know why I can't stick to a family. Like, I make a new family every week just because I get bored really quickly. But currently, I have two girls that are both going to university one is gonna be an actress and technically she could just apply to be an actress by herself but if she goes to university for drama she'll get much further in her actress career also university is just really fun to play with so and then my second girl i think she wants to be a politician i don't really know she's studying history in university and i think when you study history you can do politics also, this is so random, but I bought the tiny living pack and I wanted to make a micro home. So when you see this, like, don't judge me because it's it's supposed to be small. Because when you have a micro home, you get a lot of other little benefits. So, oh my god, my house is so messy right now. Okay, wait, let me show you. So this is my little home. It's kind of like a studio moment. There's like puddles here because they broke the sink. This bathroom is the saddest bathroom ever. You got the shower here here and the toilet here and then i literally couldn't fit in the sink anywhere so we just put it here they have their laundry here they have their university projects here also one of the girls started a yoga club so they have a little place for their yoga club here so this is them she looks very annoyed right now but she's so cute i love her yeah i have a little bit of a sims addiction right now so I've been doing Spanish for about an hour now, but I'm only 20 minutes into the movie. But oh my god, the amount of vocab I have. I have quite a lot of vocab for 20 minutes. I don't really know if I should make flashcards for like slang words because they're not official words. So technically I don't want to like learn them. But at the same time, slang is very important. Like when you're learning a language, a lot of words are not official words. They're just kind of common expressions. And I don't know whether I should learn them. This movie is based in Spain. So they have the same accent that I'm trying to get. So if I 
was watching a movie that was for example from Mexico a lot of their slang is not what I would be learning because I'm learning Spain Spanish but this is a movie from Spain I think even like specifically in Madrid so this is exactly the type of vocabulary that I need but so much of it is slang and I'm like I don't know if I have to learn it or not but So it's currently only 8 20 p.m but i am exhausted like i was practicing java on this website called hacker rank and it basically just gives you like some problems you have to solve and there was like a thing i didn't understand and i was just struggling with it and oh my god i'm tired now also i'm doing a 24 hour fast today like i know i had food in the morning but ever since then i haven't eaten and i'm not gonna eat until tomorrow like midday i'm not really struggling right now like i'm not really that hungry but i'm just like a bit tired i think we're gonna end the vlog here i think honestly i'll just play sims for another hour maybe i'll do spanish for another hour but apart from that i think that is the end to my day i hope you guys enjoyed the video so let me know what kind of videos you want to see because it's summer so i am vlogging quite a bit but i feel like i'm going to be vlogging more in the future like once i actually move out and i actually have something interesting to vlog right now i'm at home all the time so it's not that interesting but there's a bunch of random topics that i'd like to make videos on but um let me know specifically what you guys would want the notion videos are coming the notion class is going to be on skillshare it is coming it's just i'm working hard on it because i honestly right now if i don't plan it well the class is going to be like three hours long and nobody wants that anki class also coming and final cut pro class also coming so yeah apart from that let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see i hope you guys enjoyed peace out